working on the O-line? How are Cooper and uh, Hello Pico looking for Friday night? Uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll see today. I'm not too worried about it right now. I mean, you know, we, we do what we do. They're going to have to practice. They're going to have to get in a good practice today to be ready to play. Okay, let me ask you this then. What are you worried about coming into this week of practice? Um, you know, just make sure our preparation's good. You know, this is a, this is a real mental game. This is a... Uh, this is a game that you have to be right. This is a this team we're playing against. Their their number one thing is they execute at a very high level. Execution is going to be key, and uh, we've had some real good execution, but we haven't been consistent. Uh, Boise is really really consistent. We're going to have to play a four quarter game consistent in our execution, and uh, in all phases. And but you know I'm I'm not downplaying the injuries of guys. I just I just don't know. This our this is only our second day of the week, so we'll find out a lot more today after practice. I'll have some answers for you tomorrow. You know, in talking with the guys, I get a sense of there's a, a real true hatred between these two teams, like a Red Sox-Yankee kind of thing. Do you feel that? I, I don't know if I feel that. I mean, um, no. I, I think we have a lot of respect for them. Well, yeah. I, we have a lot of respect for Boise and what they've done. I mean, what they've done is uh, is unparalleled by anybody in a non-BCS conference and even teams in BCS conferences. I mean, Chris is 65-5. and five. Two BCS games, two undefeated seasons, and they're averaging 12 wins a year. So you know that's a pretty phenomenal uh, record. And and give a lot of credit to Boise. They've they've upped the ante over there. They're doing a good job. They're they're doing a very good job. But this this year's team's got 18 fifth year seniors, and this is this is the best Boise team that that I've seen. When I say team, they play as a team, and I've got a lot of respect for what they do. Our job's go out and beat them though on Friday night. He says more mental this week. Is that good for this team right now? Is, is does a short week help or not help? Or well, we had a great practice yesterday. Yeah. They're in tune. I mean, they prepared hard. Uh, they prepared very hard for Mississippi last week. Prepared very hard for Idaho. Um, th- this team's this team's getting better. I mean, we've we've had some tough losses this year. The Nebraska game and the Ole Miss game could have gone either way. Um, and and I think we're getting better as a football team. This this will be our biggest test so far this year and we've had some great tests we've played some good football teams but this will this will be our greatest test Friday night here against Boise Coach, a couple years back big plays were huge here at Bulldog Stadium for Ryan both went wild for both teams talk about the big play again and do you see that becoming a major factor Friday night well I think both teams are capable of big plays um, and, and, and that's the way college football is it's the same in the pros now it is a game of big plays you know the preparation time for the types of things you're seeing on a weekly basis aren't as great as they used to be. You know, we don't have as much time to really prepare. So being able to prepare for all the things you're going to see um, is very difficult. So there is the ability to get big plays. Um, In a Boise case, it's by scheme. In a game like Nebraska or Ole Miss, it was individuals. Um, You know, last year against Boise, they could have a big play any time during the game with the two receivers they had. Uh, they can do it now, but they scheme you to get it. And their running backs, Martin and DJ Harper, can go the distance on any down. They they have big play capability. Can you talk about your offense? Big we play have big, we have we have big play capability go also. Ahead. Derek Carr can get the ball down the field. Um, we have several receivers by scheme that can that we can if we can get the ball to them. If our protection holds up and we can get the ball to them, we can make big plays also. So the the possibility of big plays is there. We've made big plays in games this year too, but. Uh, you know, when you, when you lose a game, you really don't talk about your big plays. You always talk about the opponent's big plays. But, but we're capable of a big play also. So I see a great game. I think it's going to be an exciting game for our fans and, and for our football team to, to play against uh, a very good team in Boise State. And those are the kind of games I, I like to play. Our kids like to play them, and hopefully uh, our community likes those type of games. Coach, what do you remember about 10 years ago? It seems roles are reversed in this situation 10 years later. You guys were ranked eighth in the country. Boise State came in here. Knocked you guys off that BCS pedestal. Yeah, that was. Uh, they've got a lot of similarities, you know. Mm-hmm. Um, they were a young, young program, a young football team, uh, and and they beat us here at the stadium. We we had a big lead early and uh, kind of went to sleep. It didn't finish the game the way we should have. Uh, we ended up the game first and ten at the eight yard line and couldn't put it in. And uh, I see some real similarities in that. You know, they're they're coming in here. And, very, very high in the, in the rankings. Uh, we're a team right now with a very average record. Uh, but I think we're playing well. And I, and I think Boise coming into the game was playing well. They just weren't getting it done. And so I see a lot of similarities. But we're going to have to go out and execute. But I'll guarantee you, you know, well, Boise's going to come in here uh, ready to roll. Well, people get ready to roll when they walk into Bulldog Stadium. <laughs> Bulldog Stadium's a tough, tough place 
uh, for us to play, too. You know, that's a, that's, a, that's a tough place. People come in here. If Mississippi was sleeping, somebody woke them up walking down that ramp Saturday. I mean, they were ready to play. That was Mississippi's best game of the year. People come here and play well. The atmosphere is great. Um, people love to play in Fresno. It's a, it's a great place to play a football game. It's a hostile environment, but that's that's. I love going into those environments. So do our kids. And the ones that put you to sleep are those places that are real quiet and kind of you can hear a pin drop. But this is a great environment. We're going to have a great football game. We're going to get a great shot from Boise, and 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 uh, we're going to put our best foot forward too. It's going to be a heck of a game.